Hey guys, going to do this in pieces. First thing we're focused here on is the control, uh, the, the positioning of the Panorex machine uh, around a patient. Uh, so I'm not sure if you can see these diagrams here. Uh, this di top diagram, um, it is basically showing you that the patient's infraorbital meatal line has got to be running horizontal. Okay, so you're, adjust, you're going to adjust the height here uh, in order to get the infraorbital meatal line horizontal. Uh, and then the mid sagittal plane in the second picture has to be vertical. And then you bring in, and I'll zoom out here for a second. Let's change, let's zoom in, there we go. That shows you the entire Panorex machine. What we have over here is the head clamp unit, okay? So you slide this in, this device in and out with these buttons, okay? Until the front of the head clamp is rest the patient's forehead is resting on the front of the head clamp and then you can just turn this knob uh, now you don't want to squeeze the patient's head necessarily um, you want to turn the knob such that the reminder bars are pressing into the temples just making contact and that it, it kind of holds the head still but not enough tension where you're hurting the patient just a reminder to hold still during the sweep of the tumble. Sorry, I got to cut across to get the cassette. Now I'm going to pan out just a little bit. Let me just move the camera out just a little bit and I'll show you how to load the cassette. Okay, the cassette is right in this thing. This is the stopper or the holder for the cassette. Here is our CR cassette. Okay, I'm going to put it in just like this. It's got a little track to run on. You just slide that in there until it latches right here. Okay, bring that into the room for you. Now let me show you the parts. Well, obviously we've got a we've got a stationary anode x-ray tube over here. Okay. And then but this part, this is um, a lead shield except for it's got a vertical window or groove or a pencil shape carved into it. And what happens is, as the machine rolls around, I'll just press this button to show you. Oh, it's already at reverse cycle. I will cycle it through. So as the machine rolls around, let me reverse the cycle now. That's full cycle, I hit reverse. That's the tomographic sweep. And what it's going to do, if you're pressing the exposure button, is it's going to migrate the cassette through on this runner past that opening, uh, the slit in the lead, on the inside of this curve right here. So the cassette is actually going to glide past, and for every section that glides past, as it rolls, it's going to record a little pencil beam x-ray at each point along the jaw and then merge that to the next portion of the jaw so as the whole contraption rolls around the head what you end up doing is you end up capturing the patients that would be their left side TMJ at the start of the exposure and then it rolls around and captures all of this side of the patient's mandible and then it continues to roll and sweeps through until you get the right side, Rami and TMJ, on this side of the cassette at the end of the run. Okay? So that's how a mandible panorex works, but it starts with good positioning. So uh, the first thing you do is you back this thing up here, okay? open up the clamp, invite your patient in, and while I've got this open, I'll show you what it's going to look like. Okay? Drop this down. Now, the more you hold on to it, the faster it goes. So just hold the button down. And I'm going to save it right about there. Let's see. Let's get up close up here. Okay. Patients will have to remove their glasses. Okay. Sit up tall. And at just a little bit lower. Okay. So drop down. Just 140. Oh, can I get my head through there? Woo. 
Okay, so with me sitting up tall, notice now my IOML is running horizontal, mid sagittal plane is vertical. Okay, so if I bring in this button here, I feel like David Banner in the incredible hole. Okay, and I'm just going to tighten those clamps in. So I'm holding my head still. IOML running horizontal, mid sagittal plane vertical. And if you're having trouble seeing that, you do like that. And then as you pivot the mirror, you can see how the patient is oriented in the machine. Okay? So that's what the targeting mirror is for. All right, I'm going to raise that back up so I can sit up a little bit here. So that's it. The rest of it is just the exposure and setting the right technique. So let me pause here and show you guys the control panel. All right, so this is our control uh, panel for our Panorex. Okay, it's very simple. It's basically just got, it's got a KVP mask. It's got some pre-programs, okay? So that's program number one. That's for uh, asthenic or pediatric, okay? Uh, sthenic habitus or um, young lady of um, you know somewhere somewhere between 85 pounds and 150 pounds um, then as we go up we're now we're in 150 pounds up to 225 pounds and then north of 225 pounds you want to use uh, the biggest technique so basically you're scaling your technique according to habitus and you can see that the KV chain jumps from 74 and then you go to hypersonic habitus and it jumps to 81. Okay? And um, you can also individually tweak the KV and the MA uh, by the plus and minus buttons okay? and get some different selections there. So you basically want to match your technique up on your Panorex machine with the habitus of the patient and then this is the expose button okay you can also do a test i believe you can do a reverse or a test sweep from here okay and to do the exposure you you mash down this button and you hold it and it's going to tell you how many seconds for the entire sweep it's typically a 15 second sweep so you got to hold that thing down for the entire 15 seconds always be watching your patient through the window as you're taking that exposure to make sure the patient's holding still.